Gorilla Tank just had a huge arcade update filled with many new things such as the new arcade map, Neon Rocket T-Rex Cosmetics, this green wiggly guy, and this blue wiggly guy, as well as a fully revamped city shop, giving us new guitars, arcade shop, and new arrival shop, as well as flashback shop right here. But that begs the question, what else did they change? And this is the other thing they changed. Mountains got a complete revamp, giving us a new entrance as well as a new exit. Let me show you that. When you first make your way through mountains, you'll notice that there's a new mountain that you go into, and once you come out here in an eagle dude. I'm not even joking to you guys when I see this guys, but there's a secret map behind here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be trying to find exactly what it is hiding behind there. Because soon enough, Girl Tech's gonna be opening this up for a whole new map. So without further ado, in today's video, we're gonna be trying to get into the new map, potentially the new map of the map. So if you enjoy any part of this video whatsoever, then don't leave without hitting the subscribe button and also like the video for good luck. Now let's get right into it. Now for those of you who do not know, in the last video of this series, I tried to get into the attic map without much success, although I did get to see a new secret message. And that is that it says, the monkey blocks have been cleaned up and put in storage for now. Now we don't know exactly when monkey blocks will be coming back, but what we do know is it will be coming back. So expect a bunch of new revamped items in the monkey block. And since we're trying to escape into mountains today, there's a couple methods I'm gonna attempt using. The first of which being to escape escape the map naturally. And that means that I'm gonna have to wall run just like this all the way up the forest until I get out. So let's try that real quick. All right, I have the most stretched POV of all time and it's time to try and get out of the map. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this, but I think I'm good enough for now. First without mods. So I'm gonna jump off here, hit the wall at a decent pace, and now we're at the slippery wall. So this is where I'm gonna need an extra bit of a boost. And that's where my mods come in. I know, right? So original new tour, you're already using mods. Shut up! First, we're just gonna try speed boost. And of course, this is a bark mod menu in a private mobby, so it's all good. Let's try it. Okay, I'm blasting through the first part of the wall that's kind of sus um i'm um, slippery walls don't even seem slippery i just gotta get a boost off of this oh okay i need to get to the third slippery wall and then i'll be good oh my gosh guys what the heck i'm literally i'm literally too fast for even the wall itself okay i'm almost, I'm almost on the third slippery wall after many many attempts which all failed miserably. I knew there was only one option left. Why am I talking in third person? I don't know, because I'm literally talking to you guys right now. The last attempt is going to be to get a map using the clouds glitch. Let me show you that right now. And of course, we're back to this very glitch POV. What the Sigma? And of course, I'm going to have to turn my mods off for this. And that is the mountains glider glitch, which allows you to escape the map using gliders, which are right to my left right here. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to want to do is just grab any glider of your choice. I like green because it gives me good luck. Liking the video gives you more luck though. So what you're going to want to do is go up into this like fold of energy. I don't know, wind, I guess, this is what it's actually called. Go all the way up. I'm not in it anymore. Get back here, boy. And once you get all the way up to the top, you just gotta shake your glider. I know this is so sus, but you just gotta shake your glider. And then you're gonna fly over here. I'm pretty sure it's right here, guys. You're just gonna fly, fly right here and then dip down on the map. Just let your glider go. Just let it go. Just let your glider go, okay? Let the glider go. And, oh. That, that sucks. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Now, I off the camera, I actually tried to get out of the map even more times out of clouds. And let me just tell you, I don't know where the spot is. So if you guys know how to escape clouds, please tell me down in the comment section, as well as tell me if you know any other methods to get out of the map naturally. But now I think it's time to pull out the mod menu. Ta-da. This is a Vark mod menu, and it's full of like a bunch of things, including rockets. That was anticlimactic. Platforms. Why? And a bunch of other really, really cool stuff. Yeet! We're not gonna be needing that. Oh, we, we are gonna- Come back, I need you! So, we're gonna be using the Bark Mod menu to actually escape the map in the Mountains map. So, let's go there right now, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do it. Basically, I'm gonna grab my Bark Mod menu, then I'm gonna turn on Fly and No Collide, and I'm gonna be trying to get through this mountain right here and see what's behind it. Now, the only downside to using mods is I won't be able to see what's actually behind it, I'll just be able to see what is a permanent object. Now, for those of you who do not know, permanent objects are objects in which stay in the map even after loading them out. So, let me show you one example of a permanent an object. The first example I will use is the rocket ship because it, no matter which map you go into, it'll always be loaded in. A permanent object only stays if you no collide, so we need to make sure no colliding works. So what we'll do is we'll go in back into the map and then back out using no collide, just like so. Now, as you can see, this is a permanent object since it stays even when you leave the map. But one thing that strikes me as a little weird is that even after blocking the tunnel off, they left the hitbox in here, which makes me think that they're going to be adding a new map behind mountains. Now, just hear me out. If you walk just a bit past mountains, well, I bit past the blockage over there. You will notice that the side that comes out of mountains, right here, is very, very near the rocket. And if you guys didn't know, for a while now, Gorilla Tech has been planning a space map. Whether you believe me or not, all I gotta say is... But what I do gotta say is, I think, I really do think, Gorilla Tech has, has some very, very great plans up their sleeve for a new space map. Okay, I just gotta say that. But yes, the old mountains tunnel was not curved in this direction. As you can see, when you first get in here, it's completely curved with a light coming right here. And over here, there's a different, like, exit sort of thing. I don't know how to explain it, but the curves are different. And a mountains exit used to come over, like, a little bit farther that way. And now it's closer to the rocket, which makes me think that, hmm, maybe there's gonna be a space map. Now let me show you why. Basement is what gives us all the answers. Let's get down there right now. And once you get past this hallway, you'll notice 
just a bunch of paintings, some that are irrelevant and some that are very, very relevant. Now, before the arcade update came out, they released two posters that signified there was going to be an arcade update. Firstly, we got this one, an old 90 CD, and something that is usually played in arcades. Second is a, a really cool old like 90s artwork, and same with this, a 90s artwork, that would be seen in an arcade. As well as the new game mode that's going to be coming soon, which is the Fighting Monkeys game mode. Well, not game mode, but game you can play in the arcade. For those of you who do not know, there's two arcade machines that have been shut down and will be released soon, and that this is one of them, the Fighting Monkeys. And what I'm trying to point out with this is that Gorilla Tag always releases paintings before an update comes out. The Volcano painting was released right before Volcano Update. These paintings were released right before Arcade. And the Space Update has been released, hopefully, for the Space Update, with a monkey on the moon in a space costume, as well as an E.T. poster, but actually says G.T. poster. For those of you who do not know, this is a movie based on space. And this truly gets me to thinking that Gorilla Tag, I think it's time for the Space Update. I really do think Gorilla Tag is going to start theming their game towards space and maybe even have Mountain's Exit as an alternate space map. Otherwise, they're going to be using the secret map, which will be in the next update as the space update. So if you guys are hyped for the space update, please let me know. I've heard lots about it and I'm getting back to it now. I'm going to start talking about it more. If you'd like to know more about the space update, please let me know. But for now, I'm going to be going into lobbies and seeing if people know how to get into the secret map without using mods. Let's go. Fight me. I hope you guys are scared. Oh. Yo, hello. Yo, blue, blue. Do you guys know how to get behind this? Do you guys know how to get behind this secret Why wall? Yeah, I'm gonna come eat you too. Okay, fine. I'll take off the lion. Yo, does anybody in here know how to get behind the secret wall by chance? Ow. Yo, yo, heal, heal. I have a question for you. No, wait, let's go in this wall. Bruh, that's crazy. Can you explain to me how to get behind this map, please? I, I just, I really want to know. Can anybody explain to me how to get behind this map? Okay, how do you get behind this? How do you, how do you get actually behind this, like, map? Like, is there a way? Like, is there... Well, there's... Uh, go... Leave, leave the game. Then, go back in the game. Like, is there's no glitch or anything? Well, yeah, it's a glitch, and, uh, so, you, you join the game, you hurry up, go to the basement, and it should be leading out the map. You then put your arm out, and then... Just, just go. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it. I have a slight hunch that that guy was lying to me. We're gonna try it anyway. <laughs> Alright, back on the game. Let's run, let's run. I definitely, I definitely left the game. And I got here, and it's still blocked. God darn it, man, I just... I wanna know how to get behind the secret map. Deadpool? Is this the real Deadpool? Aw, oh, man. I'm just a big fan. I love Deadpool. Since you're the only one in this code with me, I is there like a way to get behind the secret map? Wait, there's a secret map? I'm pretty sure. I don't know, and I haven't tried with that yet. I know, because they've added like a tunnel, like a new tunnel, and this is blocked off. I think this is gonna be a new map. I'm in the parachute. Yeah, glow <laughs> And with no success, I'm left with only one option, guys, and that is to fight me. I don't even know what I'm saying. So, uh, I've only come to come one conclusion, and that's that we must have to wait. Otherwise, I don't know how else to escape the map properly, so I'm in a lobby. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.